you know, one thing I have really noticed over the years, one thing that has changed probably the most in social media, and it's not the algorithms, it's not the type of, uh, you know, the format of the content like video versus photos, while that stuff certainly has changed. But the biggest thing, the biggest change that I have seen is the type of content that works now. You used to be able to uh, post graphics and they were nice and they were informative and they helped people out. Um, and now the algorithm wants content that has people in it, basically. It wants content that has you in it. Nowadays, you have to be a part of your social media experience. Like your so one of the first philosophy of a luminary agent is your marketing doesn't work without you. And that is just so true in today's world. When I look at uh, social media, the, the posts that I see that work, first of all, the ones that I that even get shown, the ones that I see are ones that have photos of our clients in it. Um, or they have videos of our clients in it, or they are videos of our clients, like what I'm doing right now. And I think that, I mean, that makes perfect sense to me in a world where we are constantly being advertised to and being sold to by companies, by brands, we yearn for an authentic connection with somebody. And especially in the world of real estate where somebody needs to trust you in order for them to hire you. Now, they can either trust in you as a person, they can trust in your ability as an agent that you know what you're doing, they can trust that you're going to get them what they want, um, but it all does come down to that trust and the way that you get somebody to trust you is by being authentic and being yourself. You know, authenticity builds trust. People connect with people that they know, like, and trust. They they don't connect with with a, a faceless brand. I say all the time, like, if your social media feed is all just your logo and graphics or memes, people are, it's indistinguishable from any other social media feed out there. Like if they go there and there's no pictures of you, there's no videos of you, what is their incentive to follow you? The other big thing about you needing to be a part of your marketing and a part of your social media is that in real estate, you are the product. The house is not the product. You are the product. When you are marketing yourself as an agent, like, let me help you sell your house. Let me help you buy a house. You're the product. And that means that as the product, you need to be front and center in your videos, in your photos, your writing style needs to come through in your blogs. Um, your email marketing should have you in it as well. Like you need to be a part of this, your personality, your expertise, your approach, you know, your face, your tone of voice, your expressions. Those are the things that people are going to latch onto. Those are the things that people are going to start to know, like, and trust when you give it to them in repetition. Additionally, those things are going to be your unique selling proposition. Like you are your USP because there is nobody else that is like you and people are going to like you for you. Now, sure, you have to be a good agent. That comes with the territory. I would say that nine times out of 10, you've pretty much got that one taken care of. The other big thing about you needing to be part of your marketing is that it needs to be consistent. Like consistency reinforces your presence. Consistency reinforces your presence. And the more you are out there in front of people, the more they are going to 
remember you, the more they are going to relate to you, the more they are going to understand that you are their real estate person. The other big thing about putting you in your marketing and building that authenticity is it breaks through all the other salesy content that's out there. We have gotten so fine-tuned to sniff out salesy content. We It sends off huge alarm bells in our head and we immediately tune out or scroll past it. So the more that you can be you, even if, if you are presenting information that is somewhat sales in nature, the more you can be you and people start to tie that to you and your personality and not to you trying to sell something, the better off that's going to be. When people do get to know, like, and trust you for being you, you don't have to sell. So it kind of makes that a moot point, which that's amazing. I mean, let your content do the selling. Let your personality do the selling. Don't worry about constantly trying to sell yourself to your clients. Like, if they like you, if they trust you, they're going to work with you. Now, of course, you can remind them like, hey, I'm here for all your real estate needs. Or if you know of somebody that's looking to buy, sell, or invest, like, please give me their phone number so that I can reach out. You obviously call to action, great idea. But you don't have to create content that is completely sales-oriented because you're the product. So just Get online, be helpful, be you, and let the content do the work.